In this video, we are going to walk through the process of searching for and assigning a class activity from beginning to end so we can see it all at once. So I have one class card here. So to access my class activities page, I'm going to click on the little pin icon. So that brings me right to my class activities page. If you're already in your class, you can find your class activities tab at the top of the page and clicking on that will bring you here as well. So I have no activities scheduled for the day. So what I'd like to do is search for an activity about fractions and assign it to my students. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come up to these icons and decide, do I want an assessment, a collection, or an offline activity? I think I'd like an assessment here, so I'm going to click on the assessment icon. Please note that this icon is for video conferencing, and we'll talk about what that means in a bit. So I've selected assessment, and I'm going to type in fractions as my search term and then press enter. So my results are divided up by catalog or library. Consider that as being divided up by source or who created the material. So Guru Catalog contains all of the assessments about fractions created by anyone with a Guru account anywhere in the world. So this is a very large library and I would suggest that you preview the items before you use them just to make sure that they're what you're looking for. If we scroll down a bit, I can see my content. So these are things I have created in my own account that include the word fractions. So I can select something from my own account if I'd like. Scrolling down a bit more, I see course map. What this means is it's material drawn from students' learning journeys. So if you assign from here, some of your students might have already completed this in their learning journey. That's okay, it's a great chance for review. You can trust that any of the material you search for that comes up under course map has been highly curated, but you should still preview it to make sure it's what you'd like. Scrolling down a bit more, there's the Navigated Learning Schools Library. This is also a highly curated library with strong material. And scrolling down a bit more, we have some additional more specialized libraries. So I think I'm going to select my fractions assessment from the course map, and I can see the name of the assessment, how many questions, and also the standard that it's tagged to. So I am going to preview this assessment, CFU, check for understanding, identifying equivalent fractions. To preview, just click. So I can see the questions and the answers. Now this looks like something I would like to assign to my students, so I'm going to just click somewhere else on the page to close this window. And to assign, just click the plus button. That brings up a calendar and you can set the start date. So I'd like today to be the start date and I'll make it due by Friday. So that gives my students about a week of school to complete this assessment. So once you've selected your start date and your end date, you can turn on video conferencing. You can also do that by clicking on the people icon at the top of the screen. I'll show you that again. And once you're ready, just click add activity. So I now have a class activity card to come over here again, here is our little video conferencing icon if I wanted to click on that. I'm asked if I want to permit Navigator to access my calendar. If you'd like to do this to schedule a meeting with your students on video, just click allow. So I'm going to deny for now just so we can keep going. On the side here I have my class activities card. I can see the name of the class activity, CFU identifying equivalent fractions. I can see the standard. I have video off, but I can click here again to set it up. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. I have no data yet because my students haven't started working. And I have check for mastery, which means when students take this class activity, this assessment, it will count towards their skyline. If you'd like this not to be the case, you can unclick here. And now it doesn't count for mastery, but you'll still get data as students work. So I'm going to leave mastery on. I can also see the dates for which this is assigned. And lastly, at this point, this class activity will not show up on my students' accounts. In order to do that, I need to activate it or turn it on. So at this point now, because it's activated, when my students log in, they'll also see this on their class activities page so they can get to work on it.